Direct response to an executive order from Governor Andrew Cuomo, the rescue mission had to lay off 285 people this week. So that number impacts employees across upstate New York, not just here in central New York. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc has been following this story for us. She joins us now live in the studio. So Julia, COVID-19 has really impacted their other operations as well, right? It has, Jennifer. Now at last check, the Syracuse rescue mission has not seen any positive cases of COVID-19 amongst the homeless population, but the CEO Dan Seberg says if there is a case either in one of their clients or their employees, it would be devastating. So they're doing what they can to stop that from happening and following all orders from the governor. Those at the rescue mission have changed the way they do things at their shelter, the adult home and their food service center. The shelter holds 180 people, but they currently have 140 people living there. They've separated the beds as much as possible. They're taking the clients temperatures often and cleaning cleaning the building frequently. At their food service center, they're now serving to-go meals, making an exception for those who live in the shelter or other rescue mission homes. Only 50 people in that category can sit in the dining hall at any one point in time. And as for the rescue mission staff, only those who work at the adult home are required to wear masks because Seberg says that's where their most vulnerable population lives. And he says if he could, he would give protective equipment to all employees and clients but they just do not have those resources right now. Everybody's saying if you can stay at home and have no contact with people, that's the best thing you can do. All right, well, these people don't have a home and they have tons of contact with people. So it's, um, it's not a good environment, but I, I don't know what else could possibly be done at this point in time. Now, all the fundraising for the rescue mission in light of the layoffs has put on, been put on hold for right now. Seberg says those who work for Onondaga County, though, have promised him they will do what they can to support them financially during these difficult times.